welcome back to my channel folks <clears throat> this is part three of the green plantain porridge and i'm at the final stage of it right now i'm about to add some coffee creamer to it and turn the fire off all right so <clears throat> remember watch the entire video search for part one and part two and you'll see i am um, because I took you through parts of the steps to making this porridge and because it, it is such a lengthy process I had to break it so I made it in three parts so I'm asking you to watch the entire video like comment share and subscribe subscribe if you haven't already done so and to those who have already subscribed I am thanking you right now very very much for your subscriptions so let's get into it i'm gonna add this and then i'm gonna whisk it in all right so i pour it in like i don't really use a spoon i just dump some in like that put the cap back on and put it away here goes the whisk start slowly making sure you don't spill and get this coffee creamer all over the side inside of your pot but work it gently work it down into the mix of the porridge if you don't have a whisk you can have a spoon use a long spoon like this so you won't get burnt if you have wooden spoon that's good too i have wooden spoons and then now that it's down, you get it mixed in like that, you can up your speed. Some of you might have the um what they call those blenders. I don't remember. But they are tall and you can use it in mix like in soups or porridge like this. You know. I have it in mind to get myself one of those which would make the process like this much easier instead of whisking away i just stick it in there start it press a button and have it go on, going you know yeah but i don't mind a little elbow grease is good There we go. I can turn it up, turn the heat up a little bit. That will help with dissolving the the milk, the coffee cream, I should say. Yes, I forgot to let you know that I also have I use a packet of coconut milk in the mix yes so I forgot to let to mention that in the earlier videos so for those folks who don't watch part three they are going to be missing that bit of information right there next move from this is a taste test I always like to make sure whatever I am serving up tastes really good Feels like something is missing. I'm not sure what. Oh. 
tastes like it could take a little a little more sweet sweetener but you know what i won't put it in there porridge is of the nature where I turn the fire off it will be on the stove now you taste it and it's not tasting sweet but you see as soon as it cools down and you let it sit for a while uh -uh, it's too, then <laughs> you try to taste it again and you're like oh my god this thing is too sweet so for that reason i'm letting it stay just the way it is less sweet much much more healthier because you've got to remember that there are three main things that ruin our health sugar oil and salt too much salt too much oil too much sugar those ruin our health right they um there are other things but these are the three main culprits the type of oil that you use in your food the amount of sugar or the type of sugar for example <coughs> granulated sugar i stay away from that thing as much as i possibly can if i have to use a spoonful of it it's because i absolutely can do better i have no honey i have no agave i have no cane sugar and the list goes on i have no date syrup and then if i have to and i have no fruits because i use fruits for example if i'm making myself some oatmeal i don't use sugar in it i will use a half it depends on the, like the amount this so i'll use a half of a banana or an apple and i cut them up into small pieces and stir it into my my bowl with my oatmeal and add a few raisins to it and that's my sweetener trust me it works it and it's delicious you know so folks again i say thank you for staying with me to the conclusion of my green plantain porridge put the cap on and let it sit for a while and allow the everything to come together on their own terms then i'll be serving it up to the family because they are waiting they are like uh, isn't it ready yet <laughs> thank you folks for your time please remember to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and uh, take care of your health it is your first wealth and hopefully i'll catch you in the next video ciao